In this video, I'll show you how to create a Notion database button that marks a parent task and all its unfinished subtasks as done with just one click. I'll be using a simple project plan as the example. It includes three main tasks with a few sub items under each. If you want to follow along, there's a link to the template in the description below. First, let me show you how the button will work. In this example, under the planning parent task, I've already marked the defined scope sub item as done. And it has a completed date of June the 11th. The other subtasks are still not started or in progress. With the complete database button, here's what happens. When you click on it in a sub item, it sets the status to done and fills in the completed date to today. When you click it on a parent item, it edits the parent and all sub items that are in progress or not started. So it sets all these to done and gives them a completed date of today. You'll notice that it doesn't edit the sub item that already had a status of done. So it keeps its previous completed date. Let me show you how to set this up. Here's the same database again, this time without the button property. So first, create a new button property, then click Edit Automation. By default, the button will display the name of the property, but you can change the button text at the top here. You can also add emojis or symbols. I'll call mine complete and add a checkbox emoji. To make this tutorial easier to follow, I'm going to set up the button in stages. Let's start by getting the button to mark just the current item, like a parent task, as done. First, select New Action, then select Edit Properties. Then select Status and set it to Done by selecting the option from the drop-down list. Then you also want to set the completed date to date triggered. Let's test this. When I click the button on the planning task, it sets the status to done and fills in today's date for the completed date. But you'll notice it doesn't automatically set the subtasks as done as well. Instead, you need to click on them individually. So let's update the button to also mark all sub items as done too. To do this, we'll use Notion's define variable feature to get the sub items of the parent. So go back and edit the button again, then click add action and choose define variable. I'm going to give the variable a name of sub items and then select Edit as Formula. And in this formula window, we're going to first select this page. So that gets the record that you clicked the button in. And then we're going to select Sub Items. This will bring back a list of the sub items for the database record you click the button in. Remember to click Save. Now we'll add a second action. So click Add Action and then choose Edit Pages In. From the database dropdown, select the sub items variable we just created. This tells the button to update all the sub items. And in here, you set the status to done and again set the completed date to date triggered. Now let's save and see what the button does. When you click the button on a sub item, it works just like before. But now when you click the button on a parent item, it updates both the parent and all related sub items. All of them get marked as done and a completed date is set to today. But what if you've already completed a sub item you probably don't want the button to change its status or completed date again. So let's update the button to ignore sub items that are already marked as done. Go back and edit the button. 
open the formula for the sub items variable. Right now it pulls all related sub items, but we want to filter it to only include the ones that aren't done yet. To do this, use the filter function. We write dot filter current dot status does not equal done. So that's getting the list of sub items and saying only bring back the ones that don't have a status of done. Remember to save the formula. Let's test it. In this example, I've already set the first sub item to done with a completed date of the 4th of June. I can click another sub item now and it sets it to done with today's date. And when I click the parent item, it changes all the sub items to done with today's date, except the ones that are already done. So these remain unchanged. So that's how you can use a Notion database button to mark both parent items and their sub items as complete without overwriting anything that's already been done. This is a great way to streamline task tracking in project plans, especially when you're wrapping up on a whole phase of work at once. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing. I'll be sharing more quick Focus Notion tutorials like this very soon. And if you have any questions or ideas for things you'd like to automate with buttons, just put a comment below and I'll get back to you.